So I used to be the most inconsistent person ever. Like I literally could not stick to a workout routine to save my life. And every single new year that would roll around, I would always make the same goal and it was to start working out. And I'd stick to it for a few days, maybe a few weeks. And then one day I would just skip. And then that one day would turn into the rest of the year. Coming from someone that used to be the most inconsistent person ever, I'm going to teach you exactly how to stay consistent and get into your gym girl routine. So first things first, your fitness journey is not a short-lived era, it's a lifestyle. I know this sounds so corny, but it's true. I think the main reason why me and probably a lot of other people have trouble sticking to working out is because we want short-term, sometimes kind of unimportant goals, such as, you know, I wanna lose 15 pounds, I want a big butt, I want a snatched waist, etc. And you know what? I know we all do it, okay? We always compare ourselves to other people. I used to scroll through Instagram and see girls with the most insane bodies, and immediately I'd jump to my mirror and start doing like 100 squats. <laughs> I'm guilty, okay? I've done it before. Oftentimes, your mentality and your motivation behind these goals is because you're expecting your workout routine to give you a specific physical result. But you know, what happens when you don't see the results right away? Or you don't see the exact results that you want? You're probably gonna fall off and never step foot in the gym again. <laughs> and yes, seeing the results that you want is very nice. And it can be part of your motivation for wanting to start to work out, but it's not sustainable or strong enough to be your standalone goal for starting to work out. Which leads me to my next point, which is find out your why. Why do you wanna work out? Why is it important to you to start being consistent with your fitness journey? I'm gonna tell you guys the answer, okay? It's for your physical health, your mental health, your quality of life, and your confidence. Your ultimate why of working out should be bigger than just the physical. It should be for you, your health, and wanting to feel genuinely good about yourself. So now, it's important that you make your fitness journey a priority. If you start seeing working out as a priority, and not just like an annoying chore you have to do, you're probably gonna start making less excuses to not go. All right, so dealing with gym anxiety. Listen, if anyone knows anything about this topic, it's your girl. I have lots and lots of experience in this. When I first started working out, I distinctly remember numerous times I spent 30 minutes to an hour just waiting outside my gym in the car by myself just to muster up the courage to walk inside the gym. That is how anxious I was. Honestly, gym anxiety played a huge part of why I was so inconsistent in the gym because whenever I felt particularly anxious, I would just skip the gym altogether. I'd be like, nope, not today. Not today, rest day, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, you know, when you're feeling anxious and not good about yourself, the last thing you want to do is go to the gym with a bunch of fit looking people and work out. I'm sorry to tell you guys this. I'm going to keep it real. The only way to actually overcome gym anxiety is time. You have to keep showing up at the gym and keep showing up for yourself even if you feel anxious and battle those feelings and over time you're going to start to feel so comfortable in the gym. You're going to feel like you own the gym, okay? But you know, it starts with you starting to go to the gym and continuing going. I'm not going to lie, even today I still get anxious at times. Like almost four years later, I still get gym anxiety. So it is normal. But I do have some short-term tips that help with gym anxiety. Avoid gym peak hours, okay? I'm talking about 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And everybody frolics to the gym during these times and it's like a zoo in there, okay? When you struggle with gym anxiety, it really helps when you're avoiding these hours because you're avoiding people. <laughs> so you could, you know, work out in peace and be more focused. Do dumbbell or cardio workouts that only require you to use one or two machines. Like you can just do a little dumbbell leg workout, grab your dumbbells and go to like the corner of the gym or you know how they have those exercise rooms at the gym. Take up your own little corner, do your little workout and then go home. Wear clothes that make you feel confident. When I first started working out at the gym, I was so insecure of my body. Like I legit just like hated looking at myself in the mirror. So at that time, what made me feel most comfortable was wearing an oversized hoodie and sometimes a hat because it covered most of my face and also it helped me be more focused during my workout so I'm not focused on how I look or if people are looking at me I'm just focused and zeroed in on my workout have your workout written down already before you even step foot in the gym when you go to the gym prepared you're not gonna be anxious and nervous about what machines you have to use what exercise you have to do it kind of just relieves that pressure a little bit so you could write out your workouts in your notes app you can follow a workout video on YouTube not to plug myself but I actually have one and I'll have it linked in the description box and lastly I promise you guys it's not that serious, okay? The gym is really not that serious. I promise you, everyone at the gym is so focused on their workout and focused on staring at themselves in the mirror that they are too busy to be worried about you or looking at you. <laughs> and I know, especially as a girl, it can be really intimidating going to the gym sometimes because it's typically usually all dudes. But like, you know, I spent so much time and energy worried about what other people thought about me at the gym that I wasn't enjoying myself, I was not enjoying my workout. But honestly, I was kind of delulu thinking that everyone was thinking about me when in reality, no Nobody was. <laughs> These strangers at the gym don't really care about me that much. Also, at the end of the day, you're at the gym to better yourself, okay? I go to the gym to better myself and not to please these people. If anything, I just wanna get this workout in and go home and cuddle with my cat. Like, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> and just like remind yourself, 
at the end of the day the gym is literally just a room full of people wandering around lifting up iron and putting it down and staring at themselves in the mirror while doing it like it's really not that serious the gym i promise you is really not that serious it's not an ego contest it's not a model runway it is just the gym so do not worry about other people focus on yourself and getting through that workout make working out a routine and make it fun hello you guys so right now we are in my bathroom because i'm about to take you guys with me for my pre-workout routine and my workout routine by the way my workout playlist will be linked down below in the description box if you want to jam out with me hey. I've been obsessed with this song lately pre-workout cocktail yes it's in a wine glass it's just more fun this way this is oxy shred and mango this is one of my og favorite flavors for a reason okay it tastes so bomb i also stacked it with creatine the ultimate combo so if you don't know about oxy shred it basically gives you a natural boost of energy so you feel more focused and energized during your workout i highly recommend the mango flavor or gummy snake juicy watermelon and peach ring all my favorite flavors pre-workout especially helps on those days where you just really don't feel motivated and you're just feeling tired and sluggish and you need that extra push and if you're more sensitive to caffeine they also have the non-stim version which is the caffeine free one this is the honeydew melon flavor also tastes amazing so if you guys are interested and you want to support your girl you can use code alina10 at ehplabs.com i'll have a link down below cheers actually before we cheers make sure you're subscribed because last time i checked less than 50 percent of you are subscribed yeah okay cheers Just finished my workout. I'm so sweaty. I'm vlogging right now to show you that nobody really cares when you're at the gym because I literally have a big camera in my hand right now and I'm talking to myself technically. Nobody's looking at me. That's for your gym anxiety. Remember, ignore everybody at the gym, do your own workout, focus on yourself. Create a weekly realistic schedule for yourself. So you can write down in your planner or your journal, I will work out X amount of days a week. Obviously, depending on your work schedule, if you're in school, if you're a mother, it has to be realistic to your schedule because otherwise, you're gonna skip a lot more days than you should. <laughs> And actually, if you guys are interested in starting to weightlift and go to the gym, I do have a six-week workout guide that has all exercises and explanations of the exercises, perfect for beginners. I'll have it linked in my description if you guys want to check it out. So for me, I work out five times a week and I schedule those days out depending on what workout I'm doing that day. So for example, Monday, leg day, Tuesday, upper body day, Wednesday, cardio and core, Thursday, rest day, Friday, glutes. So when you schedule it out that way and you know exactly what you're doing on each day, you're going to be less likely to skip. To shift your mentality when you find yourself one Wanting to skip your workout so you guys I want you to be genuinely honest with yourself the day you feel like skipping your workout ask yourself do I genuinely want to skip this workout because I need it for my physical and my mental health or do I just not feel like it the whole point of a fitness journey is to make you physically strong but also mentally resilient too and trust me being on a fitness journey it tests you mentally a lot <laughs> if I'm being honest if every single time I didn't feel like working out I didn't work out I would probably work out like five times a year <laughs> say your affirmations and remind yourself you are strong you are that girl you can do it so get up and get your butt in the gym people say this a lot but it's true there's not a single workout I ever regretted even like a crappy workout where I feel like it didn't go as well as I wanted it to I still never regret it and honestly those days I feel even better about myself because I'm like at least I got to the gym I pushed myself to get to the gym like I'm proud of myself so on those days I really want you to battle with yourself and fight that hater in your head telling you that you're too tired and you can't 
do it and show up anyway. Another thing I think is helpful is there's this lesson that my brother actually taught me on procrastination. And basically it's the feeling of inaction is still so much worse of a feeling than the annoyingness of getting up to go do what you have to do. So that annoying feeling that you have to go through getting yourself up to go to the gym is still not as annoying as feeling bad about yourself, feeling sluggish. Now this is not to say you can't have off days or rest days. I take plenty of those, okay? Today's actually my rest day because I was way too sore to go to the gym. The whole point of a fitness journey is that it's a journey, okay? There's gonna be ups and downs. There's gonna be days where you do not feel like doing it. No matter what you do or try to tell yourself, no matter how much pre-workout you take, you're like, I do not wanna do this today. And that's okay. The fact that you keep trying to show up for yourself is what matters. So really try to shift your perspective on falling off or skipping the gym as telling yourself that I took a necessary break for myself and my well-being. So follow genuine fitness inspiration. So not just the girls with the genetically blessed, beautiful bodies that every single time that they post, it just makes you feel like crap about yourself. And I'm speaking to myself on this one because I used to follow all the girls with the most beautiful, gorgeous faces and bodies. And every single time they would post, I would just feel like crap about myself. So after I cleaned my following list and unfollowed all those people, my mental health and my motivation got so much better. If you want to follow your girl on Instagram, Lena List X. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I post some fitness content and lifestyle content. Also, some other girls that I personally follow that I love, like I'm genuine fangirls over. <laughs> they are amazing fitness inspirations. Like they are genuinely so motivational and such positive vibes. Liana, love her. The Learman twins, they are amazing. I'm obsessed with them. Annalise Cruz, Court. I'll have all their pages linked in the description. They are genuinely like amazing and they deserve all the hype and all the praise. Every single time any of them post, I'm like up and motivated. They make me want to go work out even on the days I don't feel like it. What you consume on social media has a huge impact on your motivation. So clean that following list up and follow the people that genuinely motivate you and make you feel good about yourself. There was a time I would go on Instagram and see all these girls who are super fit and just seem super disciplined and motivated and I would just be so jealous of them because I thought I could never be them. But truly, once I started getting over the self-doubt and the low self-esteem, I finally started and stuck to my fitness journey and it's been four years now and I have not looked back. So if regular degular me can do it, I promise you can too. So I want you guys to comment down below if you're starting your fitness journey or you're on it right now. And we could be each other's hype men, hype each other up, motivate each other, encourage each other. You got this, I believe in you, and I'm so proud of you. I love you guys so, so much.